Paper was like gold in medieval times. Oh, not tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. So here's a yoga sequence designed for insomnia. It's really short and hopefully you can just fit this short sequence in before you go to bed. So insomnia, it can happen if you're overthinking or feeling anxious or excited. So here we're going to look towards really making sure that you pay attention and focus on what your body is doing. And that way it will help you get out of the headspace and more into the body space in preparation for a lovely deep sleep. Okay, so come into tabletop position. This is a really great way to begin because it just brings your hands and your shins in contact with the ground and lets your head drop down so that you start to feel a little more grounded. Take a breath here. And when you exhale, breathe out through the mouth, releasing the jaw to say ha. Now we'll just tilt gently from this position with the heart lifting and the tailbone up and the belly lengthened. And when you exhale, round through the spine, hollow the belly and push up into the space between the shoulder blades. Palms press down as the arms lengthen. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen forward. And really lift the chest, the throat, so that it opens here. And then exhale around the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck your toes under, push through the balls of the feet. Gonna send the hips up and back into downward facing dog. With the hips up and back, you just really Try and work towards lengthening the spine. If your knees bend a little bit and your heels lift, that's fine. Smooth, steady breath. Try and get a nice, slow breath going. So, in through the nose, out through the mouth. The out through the mouth allows your jaw to release. And when your jaw is relaxed, it helps your brain relax. It's quite amazing, that connection. Now lower the knees once again, so you're back into tabletop. And now with all that fresh blood flow and circulation to the head, you can just enjoy that here in a child's pose. So sit down onto your heels. Some people can't sit all the way onto their heels. So you can take a pillow or a bolster or something and be here, but otherwise, here. So use this opportunity to take all that excess excitement or anxiety or chitter chatter that's going on in your mind and consciously actively decide to say, not now, let go. You don't need to think about it right now. All right, bring the arms back in front of you. Um, we'll just come into heart pose. That's where you're, you're bringing the chest to the floor and your sitting bones are up. And here, you're not only stretching the upper back, but also the throat. The chin is looking forward and the gaze is ahead. Deep breath. And then slowly bring your belly down onto the ground. Sphinx pose is where you're up on your forearms and the chest is forward. And then look up. And 
from here. Let's just come onto your back. So just roll around onto your back. Hug the right knee into the chest. Let your left leg go straight down along the ground. Um, with the knee hugging in, bring your forehead up to the knee. Bring your head down, straighten the right leg all the way up. And point the leg up and the knee can be a little bit bent if you need. You're just stretching through the hamstring. Again here there's the option to raise the torso, the head. And bring the head down. Bend the right knee, send the knee over to the left as you turn your head to the right in a reclined twist. Try and breathe into your tummy and feel that spiral in the spine. The gaze is all the way over to the right hand side. Come back into the middle and bring the left knee to the chest and the right leg out straight. <laughs> Forehead rounds up towards the knee and then bring the head down, straighten the left leg up. And maybe you can bring the head up towards the leg. And again, bring your head down, bend the left knee. Take the left knee over to the right. So here you just shift your hips. So the left knee goes to the right and you turn to your left. Take the left arm out to the left and take a breath. Roll out of the twist. Feel your lower back on the ground for a moment. Just lift the hips in a bridge, pushing the hips up, and then roll the spine down. We're gonna raise up onto the elbows to just come into a seated forward bend here. Bring your right foot in towards your sitting bones and the left leg out straight. You might bend the knee a little bit, that's okay. Reach the arms up, and then when you exhale, reach forward towards the leg. The first time round, it feels a little bit like, oh, stiff, but you could just try a few more cycles with the breath to ease your way in. So inhale, reach up, exhale, slowly work your hands towards the leg. Don't force it, there's no need to grab hold of your toes. But then when you feel a little warmer, just come here and settle in the forward bend. Inhale, lengthens the belly. Exhale, brings the elbows down, the head down. One more breath here. When you relax the throat, you'll hear your, your breath just start to vibrate in the back of the throat. Slowly come up, switch sides. So bring the left heel into the body and the right leg straight. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, melt forward. Working with a few of those repetitions to ease your way in. Make sure that you're kind of lifting your tailbone up and hinging from the hips. Belly lengthens on inhale. And you melt forward with your exhale. Keep the foot flexed so that the hamstring stays active.
And slowly slide the hand up the leg to help you come up. Both legs out straight. Paschimottanasana. This is a um, full forward bend. You just make sure that you just shift your, your muscles, your, your thighs just out of the way a little bit so you get the sitting bones in contact with the ground. Bend the knees so you can tip your pelvis forward. The knees can stay bent, or if you've got really flexible hamstrings, you can work with straight legs and that activates the thighs. Otherwise, you're here with the feet flexed. Reach up, inhale. And then exhale, melt forward, the belly towards the thighs and the head towards the feet. Maybe the legs are straight, maybe they're not. That's fine. It's more about getting the head to relax, the jaw to release and allowing your breath to vibrate in the back of the throat and the eyes to close. Get length along the back line of the body all the way from the back of the legs and let it wash along the spine to the top of the head. and then slowly slide the hands alongside the hips to come up. Send the hips forward, come down onto your elbows and onto your back. So as a counter pose, push down through the feet, lift the hips in a bridge. And with the chest to the chin, you can be here just aware of um, blood flowing down towards the throat region. So there's the option here to enjoy a few more rounds of bridge pose by going up and down or you could take a shoulder stand. Now shoulder stand is a little bit more intermediate and it requires you to be familiar with the pose and make sure that you have no injuries or no issues with your neck or your spine. Um, you could do this using the wall as a sort of stepping stone to access the pose where you shuffle your hips to the wall and then lift the hips and take support with your hands and raise the legs one leg at a time if you need or just be here with a sort of quasi bridge shoulder stand or if you know shoulder stand then feel free to take yourself up and in. Shoulder stand is wonderful for bringing blood flow and circulation to the throat and stimulating the thyroid and parathyroid gland. And the thyroid helps sort of um, regulate um, your sleep-wake cycle by producing melatonin. So to come up you either can go in from a bridge and you take one leg and then the other leg or if you don't like that there's so many options. <laughs> you could just push through the arms and roll the thighs towards your belly as you then take support of your back with your hands and your elbows hug in. And then take the legs straight up. So the weight here is on your shoulders, not your neck. It's not neck stand. <laughs> so your neck should feel spacious. And try and stay still and just regulate your breathing. Strong leg energy going up, point the toes up. Lengthen the belly. And can be here. And then there's the option to take the legs over the head. One leg over and then the other leg over and then arms along the ground. Again, stretching the back line of the body. And to come out, you can bring your arms to the ground, whether you're in plow or shoulder stand, and start to use your arms and your stomach muscles as brakes to slowly bring your pelvis down, and then the legs can come down. So when the feet touch down, just nestle the hips in the ground and shimmy the shoulders into the ground. We'll counterpose that with a shoulder stand. Bend the elbows and raise up onto your elbows as if you're on the beach and you're just looking around. From this position, raised up onto your elbows, the legs are straight, the chest is up, and you just lift the chin and glide back to drop onto the top of the head. 
This isn't, this is um, just really opening up the chest and the throat. And you breathe here. If your head's not reaching down, just shuffle a little bit more and then slowly bring the arms out to the side and lie down on the ground and take a moment here. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Look up at the ceiling. And then let the breath flow smoothly in and out through the nose as you let your eyes close. Now this is something I do to help me sleep at night and it's just a, a really simple body scan where you move through your body with your mind's eye. You bring your awareness into your feet and relax your feet. And then relax your legs and your pelvis, hips, torso, spinal column. Relax the chest, the arms, hands, fingers, arms, upper back, shoulders, neck, throat, jaw, face, head. And if you like, you can just bring your awareness down the body and back up. And just feel all of the energy you're made of and just let that energy settle as you gently allow any remaining tension to melt away. Stay with your breathing and keep your focus on your body and on the sound of your breathing. So if you're coming up now, you can just awaken fingers and toes and have a little stretch. And make your way to your bed, if that's where you're going next. <laughs> and hopefully that should set you up for a good night's sleep. So um, thanks for listening. <laughs> Namaste.